Okay, I'm Rebecca Forrest, and I'm here today to testify in support of Senate Bill 9. I'd like to thank Senator Williams for introducing this bill and for championing it again. Specifically, I want to speak about Section 2, which is regarding driver's license. I'd just like to ask you to require the documents that prove citizenship or legal presence to either be original documents or certified copies. If you're a citizen and your driver's license is expired for a long period of time, you have to present original or certified copies of your birth certificates and Social Security card to get that license. So I think the same rules should apply. Senator Williams has mentioned several times the problems of cartels moving into our state, and that is a very real problem. It's very real, folks. And if you don't watch out, you're going to find yourself or your family members being threatened or killed by these people. So they're infiltrating our communities and our schools. They're also encouraging our children to follow in their footsteps. I have a nephew who's an Austin police officer, and he patrolled in northeast Austin. He told me daily he came into contact with MS-13 gang members. He knew they were so because of their tattoos, who they were hanging around with. He couldn't do anything about it. You have to wait until they kill someone or they rape someone before you can find out, before you can ask them about their status. Why is that? Why can't we know who these people are when officers have been trained? We've trained them about gangs. Why don't we let them utilize their training and save some lives? I don't understand why we have to wait until someone dies. There are many law enforcement officers who would love to be here today to testify in favor of this bill. But when their police chief is opposed to it, do you really think they're going to come here? No. But it doesn't mean that they don't support it. I have relatives who are administrators in the Eagle Pass School District. They're very concerned about the Zetas infiltrating the schools and getting their children to go across the border and be trained as hitmen for the cartels. This is all serious. Please take it seriously. Please. We beg of you. These people are in the immigrant communities as well. It's not just citizens that they are attacking. So please do something about it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.